This is the long game. As stated in the title, this is their plan. Drawing out this battle, dangling corruption out there for everyone to see, and no one enforce it. Kicking the can, making us wait, bombarding us with rhetoric, that inflation, the market crash is our fault. It's all part of the plan to make you tired and question your original choice to invest. This is where Zen comes in. For the Zen apes out there, that tote for you to chill out, it's for a reason. It's to counter their tactics and not be affected by them. Lots of trolls and shills. Placed in the comments, lots of FUD. Pay no attention to it. It's the best way to counter it. Stick to your DD. You know what you know. Do whatever it is that you want or you need to do. It's not glamorous always. It's not always exciting. And that is by design. To put into perspective, what is the largest professional or college stadium you've ever been in? I've been into Tennessee College Stadium years back and I held over 100K people. I've never seen so many people in one place at one time. We have 40 of those stadiums full of people who believe in this cause. Be Zen or don't. But no, you aren't alone. And this isn't ending anytime soon, so you have to hold on. Apes together strong, not financial advice, of course. This is pretty crazy, guys. I love when the apes put together these types of things. This shows that Gary Gensler has turned a blind eye for 510 days since elected SEC chair. And I like these type of infographics or lists because it really shows what all has been going on. So let's go through the list here. Number one, naked shorting, abusive shorting, failure to delivers, naked calls Mary puts, Hyde fails to delivers, in in the money options, dark pool trading pressure, payment for order flow, label shorts and longs, distraction plays, spoofing and layering, algorithmic trading, high frequency trading, FUD media compromise, short interest is a lie, fees and emotion, threshold list transfer, short ETF spots and shills, SEC's compliant of it all, and USA government also seems complicit. So guys, throughout this entire list, these are things that we as part of the community, as AMC shareholders have seen go on throughout the past year and a half, or two years now almost. And just in my opinion, just one of these items on this entire list could be enough to really, really disrupt a well-working market. And it seems like a lot of these different things are going on on the daily basis, or if not on the weekly basis. We've had tons of DD to prove it, and nothing has been done about it as of yet. Comments down below some more things on the list of what's been going on and what's been turned a blind eye to.